Look, I want to go back to, to the coronavirus for a moment because the testing at the White House, I know, is uh, incredible. And everybody gets tested every day. You can't even come in to see you without getting tested. Uh, every precaution was taken to protect you. Anybody who came within feet had to be tested. How is it possible that you did contract the coronavirus? As far as the White House is concerned, somebody got in. It was a day of celebration with Notre Dame, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody got in and people got affected, whether it was there or something else. And remember this, when you catch it, you get better and then you're immune. You know, I, as soon as so everything goes away from me, you're me immune. You and, what? It's amazing to me that you're tell me tell me how you felt what you went through. It's amazing to me that you're back in such strong form right now. How did that happen? You've been talking about Regeneron. Eli Lilly and Regeneron want FDA approval for emergency use at this point. Are they going to yeah. get it? And they're going to get it. Yeah, they're going to get it. Uh, I, I'm back because I'm a perfect physical specimen and I'm extremely young. And uh, <laughs> so I'm lucky in that way. Uh, and, and how, you know, how seriously, was, what were your I symptoms? don't have how any. I don't have heart problems. I don't have diabetes. I don't have any of the problems that you read about. Perhaps a couple of pounds we could lose here and there, but you know, there's a lot of people in that category. But no, I'm in good health, and I'm, uh, you know, look. What happens is, if you're anywhere around this thing, you can catch it. People caught it, and I'm not just talking about this location. I'm talking about many other locations. Now, what happens is you get better. That's what happens. You get better. Now, we have drugs now that we didn't even know about four months ago, like Regeneron, like, and I'm not even talking about re, Remdesivir. Remdesivir is, you know, it's fine. But, but the Regeneron, was, I, I view it as a cure, not just a therapeutic. I view it as a cure because I took it. And Eli Lilly has a great drug. I spoke to the head of it, David, last night, the company very much along the lines of uh, Regeneron. And they work in a very similar way. It's great. And what I'm doing is I'm going to supply this drug. It made me better, I will tell you right now. I walked in. I didn't feel great. I think I would have done it fine without drugs. You know, you don't really need drugs. And you, they also like to give you steroids, like a steroid combination for a short period of time because that stops the swelling, like a baseball pitcher would use a steroid to, you know, when his arm blows up. They want to stop the swelling of the lungs in particular. And uh, so they gave, they gave me a steroid, which is a very easy thing to take. But, no, I had tremendous well, luck was a with Regeneron. And Eli Lilly, I would have had the luck. What I'm doing now, and I don't know if you saw the video I made last night, but I made a video. I put yes, it out. Yes, I did. And you said and it was a blessing in disguise. A blessing in disguise. I'm, I'm glad because I'm the leader. And I can't be like Biden where I hang out in a basement every day. Sure, if I wanted to hang out in a basement, I wouldn't catch it. But I meet a lot of people, and I have to. I'm the president of the country. I can't hang around in a basement. So I figured there would be a chance that I would catch it. Sometimes I'd be with in groups of, for instance, Gold Star families. I met with Gold Star families. I didn't want to cancel that. But they all came in and they all talked about their son and daughter and father. And, and you know, they all came up to me and they'd tell me a story, Maria. It was really amazing, actually beautiful, but sad. And they'd come up and they'd tell me a story about my son, sir, was in Iraq or he was in Afghanistan. And, sir, he did this and he did that. And then he charged in order to save his friends. And yes, sir, he was killed, but he saved his friends. He's so brave, sir. And they tell me these stories. And I can't say back up, stand 10 feet. You know, I just can't do it. And I went through like 35 people, and everyone had a different story. I could also say don't tell stories. They're telling the story of their son who, who just died, or daughter, or husband, who just died in a war, or recently died, you know, mostly over the last 10, 12 years, but some very recent and I can't back up, Maria, and say, give me room. I want room. Give me 12 feet. Stay 12 feet away when you talk. They come, they come within an inch of my face sometimes. They want to hug me and they want to kiss me. And they do. And frankly, I'm not telling them to back up. I'm not doing it. But I did say it's like, you know, it's, it's obviously dangerous. It's a dangerous thing, I guess, if you go by the, the COVID thing. 
But I, I figured, yeah. look, I look at the numbers. I figured that you prob- that probably at some point I'd catch it and I'll get better. That's what happened. I've caught it. I could have been out of the hospital in one day. I had the Regeneron. Mm. Now, I don't know what would have happened without the Regeneron. All I know is I had it, and I was better within 24 hours. I felt perfect. I feel perfect now, Maria. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to speak to you. He's so open, anyway, to foreign persuasion. and to He doesn't seem to be in charge of anything other than calling into the news media. But just to zero in for a moment, the idea that he would try to blame these Gold Star families who've already had loss, that's why they're Gold Star families, that they would even want to be in his presence is remarkable, given the way he's spoken of our military and our war dead and John McCain and on and on. Just your personal reaction to him saying, oh, no, it was their fault. He risked infecting them, not the other way around. Well, it's utter disgust, but unfortunately, I'm not surprised. This is what he's done. By the way, he also blamed two days earlier uh, uh, servicemen and women and police officers that he met with uh, yeah. uh, prior to the Rose Garden uh, super spreader event that he created. So he's blaming everyone else. And, and, and you know, and he said that the Atlantic article wasn't accurate. He didn't call our, our, our fallen heroes suckers and losers. And in this, within a few weeks, he's turned around. And now he's blaming Gold Star families for spreading a deadly pandemic. This is what he He's doing.